Hello my lovies and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got two things to show you. One is to eat and the other one is to drink. It's part of my summer sipper series and this one is the watermelon margarita. Now stay tuned for the guacamole. I know everybody knows how to make guacamole and everybody's is the best of course. Um, I'll show you just quickly how I do mine but then I'll give you an amazing tip on how to keep your guacamole from going brown. Around. All right, so let's get started with the watermelon margarita. This is kind of fun. I'm looking forward to this. This is actually my very first time making it, but I think it sounds pretty easy. So let's do this together. All right, so I have one of these little mini watermelons here, and um, what I'm going to do first of all is just to make sure that it has a uh, flat surface when we're drinking out of it is to take this uh, chef's knife, and I've got a bamboo cutting board here. So uh, that's what I'm using today, and just take a very small amount off of the bottom of the watermelon so that it will lay flat. I don't think that's gonna be good enough. So let's take a little bit more, see if that will work. All right, that feels pretty good. That feels pretty steady, so I'm happy with that. All right, now this next move that I'm going to do um, is just take just enough off of the top so that I've got the lid for my drink when I shake it. <laughs> Let's hope this works. All right, so, oh, I also wanna mention that my watermelon has been cleaned. It's been washed and uh, it is, it, yeah, it's clean, so that's good. All right, this looks beautiful. I'm so happy with the ripeness of this and I'm just gonna go grab a spoon. I will be right back. All right, so I'm back with my spoon. I've got just a large tablespoon here. And um, what I'm gonna do is just carve out about the, the top, I don't know, third, so that it has room for the tequila and Cointreau and all that jazz. Oh, my mouth is watering. What else is new, guys? All right, so I have my uh, discarded uh, watermelon over to the side here, and that I will just have for later to have a little munch. This is what the inside of my watermelon looks like right now. And now my next step of what I'm going to do is take this and place it into <sighs> um, a bowl so that I can place my immersion uh, mixer in there and start to mix up all of the watermelon so that it gets nice and soft and mushy so that we can make our drink. All right, so that is looking so good. I'm excited about this. I'll just place my immersion mixer over to the side. Now, what I've got here is a bottle of Cointreau, and this, I'm just going to take one full ounce and pour it right into the watermelon. Then, I've got a bottle of Espelon, it is one of my favorite tequilas. My absolute favorite tequila at the moment is uh, Don Julio Blanco, amazing. But this is the uh, Espelon, that's what they had at the store and it's a little less expensive than the Don Julio, let's just say. So I will place two ounces of this in there. And then finally, about three quarters of an ounce of agave syrup, and this is the um, the David's Tea Agave. I absolutely love that stuff, and I will, of course, link them down below. Now, here's the final step of this watermelon margarita. I'm going to take this lid, 
and figure out exactly where it sits <laughs> on top. I probably should be wearing a, an apron for this, but um, let's try this. <laughs> Give it a good shake. Oh, it's actually working. I'm not getting it anywhere. That's awesome. Okay, so I'll take my bowl, place it over to the side, and here we have a beautiful watermelon margarita. I've got a purple straw because I'm wearing purple today. So I'm just going to place that little sucker right in there. And there we have our watermelon margarita. Now, we have to have some food to go with this, right? But I want to taste this first. Oh my God, that is so good. All right, I'm looking forward to that. Now, you can actually um, place some ice cubes in there to keep that cold. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Next, I have four very ripe avocados and they were just purchased yesterday or the day before, so they are ready to go. We'll see how many of them are usable. And I think everyone knows to uh, cut open a, an avocado, just cut all the way around, then break it open like that. Ooh, that one looks beautiful. And to get rid of the pit, you just take your knife and wiggle that around a little bit and it will come right off. Scoop that avocado out. Then I take some extra virgin olive oil and pour that just a little bit over top just to give it a little bit of moistness. My chipotle um, hot sauce, I absolutely love this stuff. A couple of good drops in there. Then of course some tahini. I don't ever really measure this out. I just kind of know how I like my guacamole. Add salt and pepper. And this is a really small lime, so I'm just going to use the entire thing. I'll pop that into my citrus press. I love this thing. And then I'm going to use this chop and stir, I believe it's called. I will link this down below. It is from Pampered Chef and I used it in another video. I will link that up there for you guys to go and check out, but this is actually why I love this particular utensil because it just does an amazing job of breaking up these avocados to make my guacamole. And depending on the consistency that you like, you can leave this chunky or if you like to continue to mix it up, by all means, go right ahead and do that, whatever you prefer. Now, I like mine just exactly like that, so I'll place that over to the side. Now I've got this beautiful little bowl and I will just take my guacamole and put it in here for serving. Now that looks absolutely gorgeous and I am so looking forward to biting into this, but I promised you that I was going to show you how to keep your guacamole from going brown and most likely you're not going to end up with leftovers if you've, if you've got good guacamole, but if you've got a party that you're preparing for and just a ton of people coming over and a bunch of dishes that you're putting together then this is what I would suggest to do if you are pre-preparing everything for your party. Okay, so there I've just transferred it into a different bowl. And um, you're probably thinking, okay, wouldn't I just take some plastic wrap and push it in there and that will keep the oxygen away because as we all know, oxygen will oxidize your, um, your avocados and they'll start to turn brown. That doesn't actually work very well. The other thing is adding more 
uh, lime juice to your recipe and that just really makes the taste of the guacamole change and it's not for the better. So my tip for you is to take your guacamole and pour cold water over top of it and then of course cover it with your plastic wrap and that will keep all of your guacamole absolutely beautiful and this will actually keep for up to two days in your refrigerator so I hope that helps you out and um, I look forward to seeing you guys next time on right here on my channel if you're not a subscriber already and you liked what you saw today give me a great big thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel become a part of my family I'd love to have you then ring that notification bell right beside because that will notify you the next time I upload a video follow me on all my social media I will link all of that below let me know what your favorite summer treat is down in the comments I'd love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time